Hey guys, welcome back to Mad Backyard. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to put out a solo stove fire pit. We've got the 27 inch solo stove Yukon here today that we've been burning a fire in for a little while. And now it's time to put it out and we're gonna talk about how to do it the right way. Before we get into how to do it the right way, let's talk about a couple ways you don't wanna put out a solo stove. First of all, don't try to put out your solo stove with water. If you go pouring a bucket of water on the solo stove fire pit, while it will extinguish your fire, it's gonna leave a muddy mess in the bottom and eventually lead to rust and ruin your fire pit. So while it's tempting to just douse it with water at the end of the night and be done, just don't do it or your fire pit's not gonna last very long. The second option you maybe thought about is using sand. And while this does work in some types of fire pits, it doesn't work in the solo stove. The way the solo stove's designed with the holes on the base, the sand is basically just gonna fall mostly right through to the bottom and not really put out your fire. And again, you're gonna be left with a little bit of a mess to clean up. So if we can't use water and we can't use sand, but we're ready to be done for the night and wanna put out the solo stove, what's the best way to do it? Well, solo stove recommends just letting the fire die down naturally and letting the coals burn out on their own. And while this is the safest way to do it, it also comes with some drawbacks. Number one, it takes a really long time. And number two, we don't usually feel comfortable leaving the solo stove unattended, but we also don't want to stay with it all night while the logs burn down. Thankfully, we've got some good solutions to both these problems. As you can see, we like using the solo stove shield on our fire pit. It keeps embers from popping out and allows you to get a little closer to the fire without worrying about that. At the end of the night though, the solo stove shield can be really, really hot. So make sure you're using the uh, provided pokers that come with it to help take it off and lift it up by the lid. And you're gonna move it to a heat safe surface like this metal oil drip pan that I like to use. I use it for this. I also take off the, the top of my Weber grills and other things and place it down and helps protect whatever surface uh, from the hot solo stove shield after I take it off. You also don't wanna put the solo stove shield directly on your grass or it will kill it and leave a ring. So make sure you put it on something like this metal oil drip pan instead. Once we've got the shield removed, we can spread the logs out a little bit with a fire poker like this one. I'll put links to all this stuff down in the video description below if you wanna check them out for yourselves. But we're gonna move the logs around. This is gonna help them burn out and die down a little faster than they would otherwise. I'm just gonna break them up a little bit. And while they'll initially uh, flare up and start burning a little hotter, they will die down faster by doing this. So plan ahead for when you wanna be done using your solo stove fire pit. When it's about an hour from when you wanna put it out, definitely stop adding logs at that point, And you can start kind of breaking up the logs like I just did to help get it to die down a little faster. So we've solved the problem of helping the fire die down a little faster than it would have otherwise by spreading the logs out. Uh, but now we get to the point where we don't necessarily wanna leave these hot coals overnight unattended. But we also don't wanna sit here all night watching the fire. So what do we do? We found that the best option uh, to solve this problem is actually the solo stove lid. And this is a lid that solo stove makes and lid is kind of an understatement because this is a pretty heavy duty uh, piece of stainless steel that fits perfectly over your solo stove. It even fits directly over the flame ring so you don't have to remove this to put the lid on. Um, and what it does is it helps uh, keep anything from falling into the solo stove or any embers from popping out of the solo stove, letting you feel a little more comfortable leaving the solo stove unattended and uh, go to bed for the night. Now you can see we've definitely still got some active flames going in the solo stove here. Uh, solo stove recommends not using the lid to actually snuff the fire out, but only put it on once you're down to hot coals, like the ones we have over on this side. So we're gonna give it about 10, 15 minutes to let this fire die down till it looks a little more like this, and then we can feel comfortable putting our lid on. All right, so we've given those last couple logs about 10 minutes and the flames have pretty much died down. Now we've just got some really hot coals here. And while the fire has died down, this is very, very hot. And I wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable just walking away and leaving it like this all night, thinking about something falling into it or an ember popping out. So we're gonna put the solo stove lid on now. And you're just gonna carefully put it on. Even though the lid's not hot, the solo stove is. So watch your fingers, make sure you're wearing some good uh, heat proof gloves. We're gonna carefully put this over the top, right on like that. Well, there you have it guys. That's how you put out a solo stove fire pit. And in my opinion, using the lid is one of the best ways to put out the fire pit at the end of the night. And I think it's one of the best accessories you can get for your solo stove, uh, cause it really does make it a lot more convenient to be done and walk away at the end of the night without having to worry about uh, leaving your solo stove unattended. 
Now keep in mind, there's still very hot coals inside here. The sides are hot. This lid is gonna get hot pretty soon. Uh, we don't wanna put our solo stove cover on just yet. While I do recommend getting the solo stove cover and uh, using it to keep your solo stove covered, uh, we don't wanna put it on overnight because it will uh, ruin the cover from the heat of the coals. So let it sit like this overnight. Come check it in the morning, make sure all the coals have died down and uh, everything's nice and cool. You can empty it out at that point, clean it, and then uh, put your cover back on at that point and store it for the next time you use it. I'll put links to both the solo stove lid and the solo stove cover in the video description down below if you wanna check them out for yourself. Thanks for watching this video on how to put out a solo stove fire pit. If you wanna check out the step-by-step -step article that accompanies this video, check out the link in the video description down below. Uh, the link will take you to madbackyard.com where you can also find a whole bunch of other articles and resources all about solo stoves, uh, how to light them, how to clean them, uh, whether you should use one on concrete or a deck, and all those questions that uh, you may want to have answered, you can check out at madbackyard.com. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you like this video and want to get more like it. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>